Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, and this is Angel, and we love you. Are you enjoying this summer? Are you doing all kind of wonderful things to enjoy yourself and enjoy nature and the lakes and the ocean and everything? And smell the roses? I hope you are. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sign of cancer, so happy birthday to you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, because I have a cancer too. Happy birthday to you, cancers. The moon will travel in the sign of cancer, Leo and Virgo, and Mars, planet of energy and war, still trining, making a very good aspect, trine with the planet of dreams, Neptune. And somehow this week, it also gives you a chance to sort of uh, reinvent ourselves, forgive, forget, and move on. It will be slightly overshadowed by Mercury that will engage with many, many planets all week long, up and down, up and down. You will see it's a strange, strange kind of week, but out together, pretty good, as long as we're not too much logical and grounded, but more emotional and feeling our guts and just enjoying life, being more in the flow. If we're too rigid, it doesn't work. This week, the Mars-Pluto opposition also continues to help us to clean our lives and to become the best we can be. On Tuesday, early in the day, Mercury, planet of communication, will make a bad, bad aspect square to optimistic Jupiter, but will move to make a beautiful trine to Neptune, planet of dreams, later in the day. So that day, it starts sort of weird and funny, but everything ends with a happy ending. Uh, and it means what also that, uh, let me put it this way. Hmm. This week, it's sort of a time to avoid wishful thinking. Okay, if you are in uh, denial or disillusional, or you think you can get away with something, or you, you're telling yourself story, it's not a good idea. Anyways, keep being grounded, be honest, be fair, play by the rules and everything is going to be magical. On Wednesday, Mercury, close to Mars, tells us to watch also what we say and to keep also our emotions close to our hearts. It's not a good week to really share and express what you really think and what you really feel. Rather than just to meditate, what, you know, just think it through, next week you could spill the beans. On Thursday also, Mercury and Pluto will make an opposition that deepens our mental capabilities and process, but it has a hard edge. So this week it is better to be more silent, more mysterious, more reserved, keeping to ourselves to keep the peace and wait for next week to say what we feel and express why we would like to change. Okay, so this week is meditation time. Okay, mysterious, keep it to yourself. Next week, well, you say it all. And I wanna wish happy Saint Jean Baptiste Day to all my Quebec family and friends. I love you guys. Bon Saint Jean Baptiste, mes amis. Je vous aime, mes chéris. Let me start now with Cancers. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Cancers. You are so sensitive and so cute and so romantic and so psychic. Isn't it true? Cancers, yes, Mercury, Mars in your sign make you very popular and also very beautiful and very charming and lucky in your personal and professional life. What do you think about that? In career, you attract new opportunities and new people that really help your situation. Keep your eyes and your ears open this week in career. In love, you are the peacemaker, the love giver. And on the weekend, it's filled with celebrations. It's like your birthday time, my cancers, just celebrate. Law, uh, uh, Leo, Taurus, and also Aquarius really show they care. And your magical color is pink, like your numbers is three and nine. Ta-da! Play lottery. Leo stars bring you high energy, romance, and a new outlook about your personal life. You're starting to see more clearly where it goes and works for you and what doesn't. So this week, just sort of meditate about it. Don't do nothing about it. And it's very good also to do things slowly and go with the flow in career. Socially, you could get many invitations and again, still be selective. You hang out with people that make you feel good. And you say goodbye, see you later, alligator, for people who don't. In career, you also get rewarded for your hard work 
and maybe you could get a bonus. You could win at the lottery. Anything to do with show business, politics, selling, buying, arts are all favored this week. You see how lucky you are, my king and queens of the zodiac? On the weekend, take it easy, spoil yourself, and do something fun with somebody you like. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, three and 36. Ta-da! Virgo, Mercury, your ruler interacting with many planets, help you move forward and make good decisions about your future and the structure. You know, it gives you the structure to really finish some projects and some things with the homes or your career or something you're doing with uh, structure. I somehow you are blessed with this this week. In love, be mysterious. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Don't express, you know that you have a big mouth and you could really sometimes say things that you regret after or sometimes you are very inspiring. This week, be inspiring. And if you have some grouches or some things that you're not happy about, shh, silent power. In career, follow your gut. And the weekend with friends and family is where you need to be. Loved and pampered. Your magical color, silver, lucky numbers, a 6 and 33. Libra, stars make you charming, diplomatic, and also brilliant. You get genius sparks this week. Somehow the spirits and the muses come to you to inspire you. Your social life is very activated. You can meet very new, exciting people. That's sort of like, wow, it opens the light in your life. It just switches the light on. Get ready for satisfaction in love and friendships. In career, be a leader, take initiative. You may play a role as a mediator. Okay? On the weekend, you are the center of attention. Wow. Animals, nature, trees, water, they really make you feel special and they heal you somehow. Your magical color, lilac, lucky numbers, 4 and 22. Ta-da! Scorpio, top stars, bring excitement and novelty into your personal and home life. Your spiritual self is very heightened, a good time to reinvent yourself, decorate, rearrange your wardrobe and even make some choices and some friends. Some friends should be there, some friends shouldn't be anymore. And also, play around with fashion, beauty, clothes, new shoes, new purses, or new things in your house. That will be fun for you. In career, good time to pitch ideas, negotiate contracts, and in love, time to have a peace and love attitude. That's the key. On the weekend, a friend will touch your heart. Your magical color is violet, like in numbers 9 and 36. Sagittarius, stars bring confidence, creativity, and brilliant ideas. A good time to expand your business, even overseas. In career, women, artistic people help you succeed. So the feminine energy is very strong. And in love, closeness await. And somehow a romantic getaway could do wonders for you, especially on the weekend. Why don't you do something about it? Your magical color red, like in numbers four and eight. Capricorn. Stars make you smart, wise, and good-looking, and ageless. An adjustment is absolutely possible in a special relationship. In career, teamwork and diplomacy are the keys to your success. And at home, things are definitely more smooth sailing. It's like your family is getting along better. And it's very important to this week, listen more. Shh. Don't speak. Don't say what you think. Just listen. On the weekend, the occult, religion, philosophy bring answers to your beautiful soul. Your magical color, green, lucky numbers 5 and 23. Aquarius, the stars bring you enlightenment and a better awareness of who you truly are. Especially, it puts you in connection with your soul and your highest destiny. You have good relationship also with co-workers and peers. In career, a good time for long-range goals to promote your ideas for a long, long time. Think big and rich and fabulous and spectacular. In love, spend time with your loved ones, your friends, your family. They need you now. On the weekend, get ready for a nice surprise from the heart from somebody that you did not expect. Your magical color is lilac, lucky numbers 9 and 36. Ta-da! Pisces, stars make you popular and lucky in friendships. Good time to also get involved in group activities. You could meet fun people, actually people that could even change your life. Legal matters need special attention. Be fair, play by the rules, and all will go well. Remember, what you give, what you take, it's all to you. Creative projects, children, and also signing contracts. And being in contact with nature, with animals, really make you feel really 
on a higher energy, so do it. On the weekend, relax, treat yourself to a good time. Your magical color is blue, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Aries, Aries, stars bring you closer to your family and friends and loved ones. You have more peace of mind now. You're less erratic. There's added excitement in the love life. It's getting to be quite adventurous and interesting. It's really more in the future, more in the present. Bye-bye past. At work and career, your positive attitude, your new positive attitude and creativity help you increase your revenues and get applause for many people. Your financial picture, definitely more stable and feels good so you could go out shopping a little bit. But again, be discreet and don't say all this week. On the weekend, romance is definitely in the air. So just say yes to love. Your magical color orange, lucky number is 532. Taurus, Taurus, smile, luck. Luck continues to ride with you, don't you feel it? The stars this week sheds new light in career finances, investments, overseas travel, and also your worldview. You are in a good shape. People really compliment you that you're good taking good care of yourself. You also have an optimistic view about everything. In career, your patience, your understanding, and your gut plays key role. It's very important to be more mysterious and don't say all this week. Listen rather than speak. And on the weekend, you have a reason to celebrate, especially financially. Your magical color is turquoise, lucky number 7 and 21. Ta-da! Gemini, the sun, Mars, in your financial house brings blessings and protection and a new you. You have no, 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 you know, you have to change and you're changing and it's working. I love it in every possible way. Mercury, your ruler, acting up, up and down all week. Well, it suggests to really, really go with the flow and see how you could manage your energy. You, it allows you to realize, first of all, how strong you are and how smart you are. And it's important to follow your gut. In career, try to reschedule important decisions for next week. You could still pitch, you could still do things, you could still, you know, prepare your plans, but do the pitching next week, not this week, okay? And this week, listen to what people say and the way people answer to you and adjust the energy accordingly. And also, all your relationships with neighbors and family or friends are definitely better and better. On the weekend, spa, massage, dining out would do good for you. Don't stay home. You need to mingle and you need to be the good listener all weekend. And your magical color is turquoise, like numbers are 2 and 22. Here's now your wizard affirmation of this very sensitive week where we have to use silent power, right? In life, there's nothing to fear because we have nothing to lose. All is lended to us, remember? We only get to keep what we give. Doubt, suspicion, and fear are the thieves that destroy our chances to enjoy life to the fullest and manifest good things. So, remember. So, happy St. John Baptiste Day to Quebec, my friends. I love you. I kiss you. And we will see you next week. Be good now.